Hello everyone and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband with the Nova Aetas mod and right now we're in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the glorious city of Hero Solima and we have many many things to do today, many important things um, so yeah let's get right started. Now right now I have actually talking to my master brewer and I've already invested in our uh, brewery here because well I just wanted to make it a little bit more productive so that we would make more profits from it but yeah I've invested as much as I could so now we're gonna leave that in the capable hands of our master brewer so first off I think we should actually check out the town management just to see what is going on as you can see the religious uniformity is at a hundred percent we have only Christians uh, in our castle, uh, well, yeah, only Catholic Christians even in our town here. Um, at least everyone says that they're Christian. I'm not sure if they really are, but I guess that doesn't really matter all that much. Um, we have a slow growth or a slight growth of 3%, which is good as long as the city grows, as long as the population growth, um, yeah, growth. As long as the population grows, I'm quite happy. So that's very good. As you can see, we have completed an abbey here that you can see right here. Yes, very nice indeed. So that's going to give even more conversion rate. We don't need that anymore. But it gave us 400 prestige upon completion as well as 3 piety. And yeah, I mean, being pious is always good. Uh, other than that, we're making some nice income. We have a lot of money stocked up in the treasury. Just not enough because the next thing that I actually want to build are the uh, stone walls. Because I'm I'm thinking that the, that the jihad is going to be called pretty soon. I mean, I don't know. I, in fact, I don't actually know if there's going to be a jihad. I've read about it. And I think it will be. I just don't know when it's gonna happen. But I need to be ready because otherwise the holy city will once again fall into the Muslim hands. And that's obviously something we want to avoid, especially after we've uh, put in so much effort to convert the population and building churches and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, I, I think stone walls would really help a lot. We have other things that we can build as well, of course, like highways and stuff, but it's very costly. So I think it's it's important that we build the stone wall first and then we can, we can see. But yeah, the fences is the most important thing. Now, meanwhile, I'm obviously, as I said, trying to get the population up, and I, I did that by giving power to the craftsmen. So you can see the craftsmen having more than 25% power gives extra bonus to their to the growth, um, and yeah, it actually gives four. 4% growth, so that's kind of good. Still kind of annoyed at the fact that uh, our town is considered poor, but I guess there's not much I can do about it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically it. I have also recruited some more troops. I have built a lot of these Jeroian guards, so that's very nice. We just continue to do that because it's basically money on really good troops that I don't have to pay out of my own coffers, but instead uh, the town pays. So yeah, that's really good. Um, but this is everything I really wanted to show you here. For now, let's get quickly into the castle management because we need to talk to our wife and we need to talk to the guild master as well because I just want to see if we can proclaim a new edict. Now, this is actually the community of justice. Yeah, okay, we can't do anything here. We could donate money to the treasury just so we finish or just so we could start the construction of the stone walls But I don't actually want to do that as I need my personal wealth as well. So yeah um, You have nothing new to report. So the craftsmen are 36. That's pretty good. I really like that um, And yeah, I think we're just gonna leave everything the way it is now. There's actually there's actually one thing you can do um, there was an option popping up down here um, that let me start an event or was, yeah something like it. So we could either start tournaments or do all kinds of things and uh, it basically everything cost about 10,000 florins and there was one where I could um, pay 10,000 florins obviously and increase the population by 250. If that shows up again, I'll make sure or if that, if that option pops up again, I'll make sure to show you. Now, um, before we actually check out our chest, because there's something I want to show you, let's quickly talk to our wife, because, uh, yes, I, um, I'm i uh, stocking up our household, household possessions, because I want to be able to eventually start a, a, a host a feast. Um, because when the Jihad is being declared, we're basically the only lord here, as we control the city as well as all of the three villages. 
So it's going to take a long time for the other uh, papal vassals and the, the Pope himself to actually arrive with their troops here. So I want to make sure that I can, as soon as the war starts, that I can um, start a feast so that everyone's going to make his way over to our town. At least that is the plan. So um, we have, we need a bit more food, but yeah, especially the variety of the food is not that great. But I think for now, I will put in some more, hmm, I will probably, now this beer can actually not be consumed, so I think I'm just going to take that myself. I will give you a bit more cab, well, let me quickly see. I have, you have your dress, I guess I don't really know where else to put that, so we're going to give you the oil. Um, yeah, the dress doesn't really fit here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'll, I'll take it to me for now. We're going to give you some pottery. I don't think we need this, but it kind of makes sense, right? You need pottery, otherwise, wh what are the people going to eat from? Huh? So, yeah. So we have some spices, some oil. That should be fine. We have some drinks. Um, I have a little bit more med. I could give you... No, I have some rum. Well, you know what the problem is? No, we have med already. We have ale as well. We have chicken. I guess I'm going to give you a bit more cabbages. Yes, we have sausages. I don't like to give food that has already been, like, that, that we have already started eating. I don't really like doing that. So, yeah, the fruit, I can't give anything of that here. Okay, well, I might be able to give you a bit more wine. Yeah, so I'm going to give you this one bottle of wine. The rest of the wine I will actually need for... Um, a consecrated host because I intend to hold a sermon once again, but we'll talk more on that uh, in a bit. Okay, I think that's pretty fine. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of books. Uh, I've basically, uh, there was a, well, a book merchant and I basically bought all of the scrolls or uh, books that would give you stats while you have them in your inventory. So yeah, wound treatment, surgery, trainer, athletics and craftsmanship. There's actually also a book that gives craftsmanship, but uh, having the scroll as well as the book did not really make a difference. It, it only counted for one craftsmanship, so I, I decided to sell the book as that was worth a bit more. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. I think we're, we might actually sell the beer as I don't really know what else I should do with it. I will need the wine. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Do I want to put a second oil in here? I suppose I could. We have a little bit of bread here. Mm. Do I want to give them a bit more cheap bread? Oh, just regular bread, maybe. Yeah, we're going to give them a bit more regular bread, and that's that's fine. Okay, good. Um, just leave that here, and we'll speak later, my wife. So that's fine. We'll continue to, uh, well, try and add some more stuff. But now here's the big thing. I want to show you my treasure chest. And as you can see, uh, most of the treasures are gone. What happened there? Well, I've decided that it is not safe to keep the treasures here because if our city gets sacked, we're going to lose everything. And that's obviously something I do not want. Now, I left our Crusader outfits here, uh, these charters of exploration here. I, I left my relics here, as well as my cannons and certain weapons that I want to give to my companions. But the rest of the treasures I have already, um, well, I guess we're just going to keep take it like that. But yeah, uh, the rest of the treasures I've already put into a, well, hopefully safe location. And I will show you where it is in a second. But for now, I just want to make sure that I have not forgotten everything. Yeah. Um, okay, so everything is pretty much okay. Do I want to do... I think I want to check out the market here and see if there's anything we can buy. No. Okay, nothing we can... Okay, nothing important. Good. So let's leave here. Oh, and one thing I need to do... I've been trying to improve relations with the Pope, and because we're both open-minded, every time or every like every other day we meet, we actually improve relations by plus one, which is incredibly helpful. And now I've decided to pick up one more of his tasks, and that is, that is to um, bring him five guards. Now, I'm assuming what was the problem when I did this uh, quest the first time was that I was bringing him the wrong guards, because there's two um, there's two guards. So I guess we're just gonna pick uh, five of everyone and we'll see which one he he likes and if it doesn't work Well, then we know for sure that the uh, that this quest is bugged But yeah, we have ta two Jeroian guards now and I wonder which one he will take if any at all And if he does we can actually improve relations and I think we will have positive relations You'll also see that I have more uh, companions now 
and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them just yet. They're basically just here, um, well, on, well, I guess, how should I say this? They're just here and I wanna see how they, how they interact with the others. Uh, if they cause any problems with the three ones I have already, I'm going to kick them out immediately. But all of them you can see here, I've already used to increase my personal right to rule. So I've sent all of them already on their missions, and two of them are currently on a mission, so that's that's nice. They will actually, I'm not sure if I sent Matheld already. I might not have sent her away, but there's two of my companions currently underway, and yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. Okay, uh, that's pretty much everything I have... I had to do. All right, perfect. So um, I'm gonna try and see if I can do another salary run um, because yeah, obviously getting some money is, actually, is always nice. And I might also pick up some more colonists for the new world. But before I head to the new world, we will actually head over to Aldurias to speak with the Pope and see if we can fulfill his uh, quest. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so we've made it all the way to Aldurias, and we're about to speak with Pope Gregory, and we'll hopefully be able to increase relations. So yeah, we just once again increased relations to zero because of being open-minded. That's really amazing. One of the best traits we picked up, so I'm very glad we got that, even though I actually picked the other options. But in any case, I'm very happy that we have it. So we're gonna uh, talk about the task, and yes, indeed, it is now possible. So yeah, I guess last time, I brought the wrong, I brought the wrong people. Um, so yeah, that's good. So at the very least, we can finish off this quest. And I'm wondering, uh, which one he chose? Did he choose the one with the beard and the gloves, or the other ones? I'm not sure, but yeah. So we're in crystallations, and that's really good because that means we're going to be able to access all of the, um, well, the tavern as well as the marketplace as well as the guild hall in Aldurias again. So that's pretty good. Um, in that case, let me quickly check out this. So he chose the other ones. So yeah, I don't even know what that really means necessarily, but yeah, okay, now we know anyway, so that's good. Um, perfect, so we're gonna make our way over to Aldurias because this is also where I, yeah, we're still a ship again, I don't know why. Um, this is where I wanna show you something. Now, first off, let's go to manage our property because you can see I have a noble great house here, but I also have bought a shack that has not been rented out. Well, the reason is because I actually decided this would be the perfect spot to hide our treasures. Who would expect, who would expect the Grand Master of the, uh, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, right? The Lord of the Holy City, uh, someone who has several palaces, noble great houses and mansion. Who would expect that his treasures are hidden in such a, well, place? Um, nobody would, and that's exactly why I have hidden it right here in this chest. Look at this. So we have a bunch of silver, we have spices, and then we have all of these, yeah, rubies, emeralds, topaz, and, and all of the other things that we've uh, taken from the new world. And we'll add a little bit more at this, and am I missing something? All right, so, oh, there we go. That, that was what I was missing. Okay, 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 there we go. So yeah, um... That, those are all of our treasures, and we will add um, some some gold and, I guess, silver from our uh, second and third colonies. I don't think I'm going to be adding any more spices. I just felt like having one bag of spice here is kind of nice. I might sell that at some point. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, so I guess I could add my beer here as well. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Um... This holy water I actually don't need, I need the wine, that's more important. That's what we need in order to start a sermon here. Um, this is the dress, yes, yeah, the beer, I don't know, should I keep that? I guess I'm just gonna sell it, there's no point in having that really. So, yeah, as you can see, I also have some timber and stone here, and I'm no longer gathering resources myself. I've been doing that for a very long time, for a very long time, but... Um, it's just now, I think it's now beneath me. I might still gather some, like, some iron and, and silver and gold just to smelt that. Um, but I will not chop any more woods. I, I, I feel like this, we can no longer do that. We did that as a peasant. That was a long time ago. So, yeah. Um, okay, finally, I think it's time to visit the guild hall here. And we can build another church. And as I said, that fits very well having, having a church in the holy city as well as in the uh, 
well, as well as in the papers, papacy. So yeah, let's go ahead and buy land for an inter, uh, enterprise, a productive enterprise. There we go. A church for the glory of God. Yes, here's the money for the land. 12,000. Doesn't matter. I have enough. So yeah, let's leave here. Um, awesome. There's some swords on the table. Cool. Uh, anyways, though, let's let's head back and visit our own church. Yes, there we go. That's, that's why we're here. Now, um, what I need to do now is I'm going to have to use up my holy water, my, uh, my consecrated, no, my, my hosts, as well as the wine, and then we can create this and the sermon will start. Now, um, I'm not going to show you the entirety again with the preaching and, and the celebrating of the oisharist or whatever, because that uh, that you've already seen and there's not going to be anything new but I will then give out the the hosts properly this time and hopefully um, we'll be able to finish the sermon in a good manner so yeah I'll see you guys in a second all right guys so we are now where we left off last time giving out the hosts and hopefully this time I'll do it correctly okay so everyone is coming and okay they all the man their hosts they're all giving me money as well perfect but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that is if that's correct. So we gained some more prestige and now All right, so I guess that's that seems to be it. They just come here and, and, and then Yeah, what's the latest rumor? Okay, there's, there's gonna be a tournament there. Oh great. That's actually good to know um, But yeah, so it seems like that's that's in fact the end um, I I could do that again, but uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna have the same problem. So Alright, so nothing new. That is just going to be how the sermon works. Maybe it's bugged, I could imagine. Because, yeah. I mean, this is strange, isn't it? We'll do it one more time, although I don't think anything's going to happen. Yeah, okay, nothing happened. Good. Well, at least we, we, we now know and we have hold, uh, or we've held a sermon both in the Holy City as well as in the city of the Papal State. And that's okay. I don't think we need to hold any more of them. But, you know, that's, that's nice at least. So, yeah, we've done all of this. We've... Uh, well, transferred our treasure to a more secure location. And I'm actually, yeah, I, I think I should tell you why I've chosen Aldurias for my, my treasure place. Um, well, uh, first of all, the it makes sense right now because we're obviously a vassal to Aldurias. But even if we are no longer vassal, this is a really good spot because it is surrounded at the moment by three factions. By the Swadians, by the Rodox, as well as the Zendard. And all these three factions are Catholic or, or Catholic Christians. And they will never in, the, in, in this game, at least I've not seen it, and I don't think it will actually happen, declare war on the papacy. And the papacy itself will not declare war on any of these factions. And therefore, it is pretty good because that means Aldurius is never going to get attacked um, by a faction, will never be owned by a faction that I might have problems with once I start my own kingdom. Um, so, yeah, we're always going to be able to go into the city and access our properties and therefore our treasures. So I think that's a really good good idea. And also, it is kind of close to where I thought my, well, my, my kingdom should start. I, I want my kingdom to start in this area, but we'll talk more about that uh, a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so we've improved relations with the Pope and yeah, everything is, is pretty good. Is there anything else I need to... I need to check out so many things to do obviously it is uh yeah oh i did not even oh we did use the wine but we used the wine oh okay that's good we, we used the wine that was already used up so that's that's sweet we have one more holy water left over that's that's fine as well um yeah i, I don't know what to do with this i uh, whatever Okay, so we have tons of food. We should probably get a little bit more resources, but as I said, I'd rather buy them. And um, yeah, our colony, uh, Terra Nova, has hit stage four, which is obviously quite good because that means, once again, even more uh, possible buildings. And I've already checked that out a little bit. I've already built some of the new buildings, but obviously not everything. We need a lot more resources now to, to build these things. So it's going to take a while until everything uh, will be built there, but obviously I will make sure to show off everything. Um, but I think once again, I'm going to make a little bit of a cut here and I'll show you um, the new world in a second. All right, guys. So welcome once again to the new world in Terra Nova, which is basically just 
the new world. Um, anyway, so this is our small mana, a stage 3 building that I have built previously. A chapel is, I think, a stage 3 building as well. Might be stage 2, I'm not too sure, but this you already know. But I now want to show you the new additions. This is the trade post we have, also nothing new. But these two houses you can see right here are already new. I built them the last time I was here. And today we're going to be building a bit more. So this is the level or the stage 4 house. It gives 20 extra population or possible population. And there's uh, 3 houses you can build in total. And this is a church. Oh right, yeah, so the chapel is the stage 2 building and the church was the last stage 3 building that we hadn't built yet. So yeah, I'm actually a bit surprised as to how small it is. But yeah, maybe I'm thinking of cathedrals. But yeah, this is a very small church. Very, very narrow as well, if you, if you get uh, what I mean. Anyways, um, so yeah, there's that. And uh, let's go ahead and build some more things. So obviously, this we have already done. Uh, stage 2 we have done pretty much everything. Yes, the chapel was... And yeah, we've done all of these things. Yes. And now stage 3, we have built the church. And obviously we have not built the uh, stone walls and stuff, but uh, that's fine. We might do that. In fact, I will do that, but only after we've built everything else. So yeah, I've already built the citizen's mansion. Now I'm going to build the country house as well as the half-timbered house. And I think then we're also going to go for a fountain and a windmill. I don't think we're going to build a great mana because that uh, requires a lot of stone that I don't really have. Oh, wow. This is, this is indeed a huge, huge house. All right, let's uh, let's maybe turn that a bit. Yes, um, just so that it actually fits right next to the church. Do we want to put it right next to the church? Oh my God, that looks much nicer. Yes. So, um, well, does does that would that fit? I think it, it might actually it might actually fit. Yeah, look look like that. That looks nice, doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're gonna have that here, and then. Um, I guess we'll we'll build that next to the church, over, or maybe over here, next to the trade thingy. So yeah, let's go with the half-timbered house. There we go. Now a half-timbered house begs the question if there's a full-timbered house, right? So maybe there's stage 5? I really don't know, but I guess we're going to find out as soon as this colony hits, hits 500 population. This looks actually pretty nice, much nicer than the other buildings. Oh wow, yeah, I might actually build more of those. And there's even a little shed. shed. Um, yeah, okay, how, which way am I gonna... Okay, now it's made a full turn. I guess we'll... Hmm, I really don't know which way I want this to be. Is it this way? You know what, I don't know. Um, no, this seems to be like the back, honestly. So, I guess it doesn't really necessarily matter, but to me it kind of does. <laughs> I just want it to look good, really. So I think, yeah, that's fine. We'll have it like this, and it, and it's gonna be over here, maybe. All right, perfect, sweet. A little bit closer here. Yeah, that's that's nice. All right, awesome. So those are the three buildings. I don't know why I have my shield up. Um, and I think because these are kind of the rich houses, we should have the fountain right in the center. Um, yes, because that's gonna that's gonna look nice, right? Uh, let's just make sure that we place it correctly. We are kind of stuck now. All right, so I guess this is going to be where where it's at. Okay, we actually earned some prestige for that. And now I'm stuck. Can I get out of here? N no. All right, well, um, then that's, that's too bad. Let's go visit the colony again because there's one more thing I want to build, and that is a windmill. And I feel like the windmill makes just so much sense over here. Um, but before we go there, let's quickly check out what the fountain looks like because I didn't really get a proper look. All right, that that looks sweet, and yeah, I, I mean I might move that a bit for now. That's fine. It, it does fit for the for the more I guess rich people houses, and right next to the church, I feel like this this little place that we created should have a fountain. All right, perfect. So we're gonna uh, pass. Oh, look at this. There's some ladders onto that house. That's kind of interesting, I didn't see that before. But yeah, so we're gonna cross the bridge here. And this gentleman, yeah, he... Alright, I don't know what he's doing. Some of these colonists are not the smartest. And something I actually noticed, you can kill colonists. If I was to shoot them, they they, they actually die. I've done it, I think I've done it with this guy before. But yeah, uh, of course I will not do that. I will not kill my own colonists. Alright, so now that this is done, where would be a good place for... For a windmill? Um, let's actually... 
quickly check out how expensive that one, or how big it is. 20 stone. That means we would have 22 stone left, which would not be enough, but I do have a little bit of stone with me, so we might be able to build the great mana as well. Alright, actually, uh, we don't have enough timber. Now we'll have to see. For now, let's, let's see what this thing looks like. Okay, this would be the windmill. Um, Alright, sure. I guess we'll put that right here. Wouldn't that make sense? Just just right here in front of the thing. Oh, uh, there. What's... Oh, I see. Okay, maybe that doesn't work then. Maybe we'll have to put it somewhere else. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, okay, never mind. So, we can actually use that to serve ourselves. That's kind of cool. Alright, yep. I'm, I'm just standing on top of this. Alright, this is fine. It's, I guess that's decently far away. But then again, hmm, this looks nice. I think this is, I can't really see it, to be quite honest. But I don't want to have it too far away from the farm, obviously. Alright, let's maybe move it a bit. There you go. Alright, I think that's perfect. I think that is perfect. I'm not actually sure how well it looks from over here, but I, I guess that's okay. Alright, and that's where they basically make bread. Um, perfect. Sweet. So I think now all we need to do is build a great mana, but for that I'm going to have to walk all the way over there again. So let's go through here. And then I guess we can have a look back at what this what this actually looks like. I hope it's actually taller than the, the other buildings. I hope it's taller than this building, because otherwise we won't be able to actually see it. And this gentleman, uh, you know what, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show, actually, I don't know if I can kill him with my sword as well. No, but I can shoot this guy. <laughs> Holy shit. And he just fell down there. Yeah, that was, that was terribly out of character. But also kind of funny, I have to admit. And I like how he fell just in the water like that. But yeah, um, yeah. In, in fact, I, I've tried that before and it does not actually kill your population. It would be fun if it would. Like, if we actually had one last citizen now, that would be kind of cool. But, yeah, of course, nah, I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, where will I build the great mana? Maybe here? We have these white walls again. That's great. Uh, I guess. I guess. I don't even know what a mana really does. But, hmm. Uh, I guess we're going to check out this place here. So, yeah, the fountain. No, that fountain is pretty good, I suppose. We have the small mana over there. So I suppose we'll put the uh, great mana somewhere here, maybe. Be because there's not really anything. Yeah, there's nothing really here. The lumberjack. Alright, and a couple people walking against walls. That's that's totally fine. So, yeah, we need basic... Oh, right, we need a couple more tools. Oh, damn it. I should have done that. Yes, yeah, so we need three more tools. I have them with me. Oh, right, and we need seven more timber. I'm not sure if I have that. Let me let me view the stock here. I have Oh, I do. Okay, let's add the timber and a bit more stone. Yes. Okay. Now also, um the wheat farm, I'm not sure if the wheat farm is actually able to sustain uh the colony because we had 502 food and I didn't add anything and we're no longer importing. We're no longer no longer importing anything. So I'm not sure if that is actually enough for, well, for our population. We might have to go back to importing at least food. But yeah, for now, let's visit the colony again. And I'm going to uh, place the grand, the great manor and I'll see you in a second. Uh, see you? I, sh I will show you in a second. There you go. Okay, guys. So there it is, the great manor. I have not actually placed it yet, but I just want to show you uh, why I've decided to pick this place. I, I feel like these um, dark darker spots are somewhat roads, so I try to not build on them if possible. I haven't really always done that, but I, yeah, as I said, I try to make these kind of work as roads. So yeah, um, let's just press enter here, and we should get a lot of prestige for that, in fact. We haven't gotten that yet, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, so we have enough housing for people to actually reach um, 200 population. And this might be a new stage, but maybe not. Maybe stage 4 is all uh, the way it's gonna go. We'll have to find out, but that will be in another episode. I'm just gonna take away my spices here. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.